and, um, uh, and I think he made a reference to the Wizard of Oz as well. So uh, um, I think for all of us who are trying to respond, um, we want to get good information, and that is the biggest challenge at any, uh, in any emergency, and we have that challenge right now. Well, you know, I'm from the Midwest, so I've seen and experienced uh, tornadoes uh, before, and uh, and the. I was describing to the lieutenant governor the eerie way after they pass, the sky is crystal clear, the humidity is, uh, is gone, and it just belies the incredible destruction that just went um, before it. Um, until, I don't know, a couple minutes before I came down, um, I was struck with what a blessing it was that there hadn't been a reported fatality, um, given the size of these uh, storms uh, and, the, and the two tornadoes, um, and uh, let's all hope that uh, that the uh, the terrible misfortune that has befallen the one person we know of is the only uh, is the only one, and we'll do everything we can to get people back on their feet. Great, Great. thank you. Thanks, Watching the Bruins game tonight, and I cannot emphasize enough that there are now warnings out for the entire state of Massachusetts as well as New Hampshire and Maine until 11 o'clock tonight that other tornadoes could form so for heaven's sakes you know that game's gonna be on a, a national channel but it doesn't have any local connection I would be tuning in to your local station us if you'd like we'll keep you informed all night that's right it's the watch that will apply to, to just about the whole state and then we as you look at the radar here you see the areas that are still under warnings where the threat is much much greater tonight uh, we are getting word from Springfield that the search and rescue efforts will be underway throughout the night the governor mentioning that a thousand National Guard members have been called in to help with both the search and the rescue um, and, and also just the ability to get supplies into people who need it. Um, report of one fatality tonight, someone who was crushed in a car. Um, the extent of the injuries unknown, but we do know that people have been hurt. And the governor asking drivers in all areas, if you don't have to be out tonight, stay home. Give those emergency workers a chance to get their work done and to get to the people who are in greatest need. Yeah, 19 communities have been affected already by the tornadic activity. A lot more communities with the lightning and thunder and high winds. This has been a wild time. 26,000 homes without electricity. Um, Todd, uh, come on back in. I wanted to reiterate, I said a moment ago until 11 o'clock, how serious should people take this? I mean, is there a pretty good potential that somebody else could see a tornado tonight? Uh, sure. I mean, either one of these two cells, this one right here, uh, or this one right here it is capable of producing a tornado. At the moment, there's circulation in both of them, but at the moment, uh, they've allowed, the National Weather Service has allowed the tornado warnings to expire uh, for this one too. But this one is still showing uh, some pretty healthy signs of rotation, and it is still possible that they could reissue a new tornado warning for places down the line, which would get you into parts of Middlesex County. So it is quite possible, Jack, yes. Uh, this is a, the, the tornado watch is in place until 11 o'clock this evening for all of Central, Eastern, and Western Mass. But it looks like this here is the cold front. So it looks like we're going to start to get into that wind shift, and much quieter weather will be back to the west. So this is really the, hopefully, last line that we have to focus on. But again, look at the folks out in Springfield and what they're dealing with. Uh, some torrential rain and uh, some dangerous conditions again for the third time this evening, which is not good. Uh, this is starting to swell up, this storm right here, uh, just to the east of Northampton. Uh, and we also have a couple of other cells that could grow, could intensify over the next half hour or so, because there's still some heat and some humidity that hasn't been utilized and used up up here in the Route 2 corridor and eventually into the Merrimack Valley. So that's why we're concerned that this could continue up through 11 o'clock this evening. And again, this is still a dangerous storm. There does appear to be some intense hail uh, right in there. Uh, also, uh, there is some rotation down in here. And then the other storm, which had the tornado warning on it until 8 o'clock, expired. But a new warning was issued from the National Weather Service for a severe thunderstorm. There you go. So it's a th severe thunderstorm warning now for uh, basically the Route 2 corridor going all the way down inside of 128. So, you know, your towns of Westford, Acton, Concord, uh, Littleton up there too, right around 495. 
uh, Carlisle, uh, maybe even into Lexington at the end of this. Uh, we could be dealing with uh, some dangerous weather. Certainly the heavy downpours, the frequent lightning, the hail, the gusty winds. And still, this storm is capable of depositing a tornado. Jack and Lisa. All right, Todd, thank you. We are going to join CBS programming in progress now, but our coverage of this severe weather will continue on TV 38. We have a number of reporters out there, and we'll have full details coming up on our 11 o'clock news tonight. But those of you who want to keep track of this, turn to TV 38 right now, as our coverage will continue at this moment. Darn, what's the code? house number. <laughs>